Hi, this is Joan Sheridan from Heritage Spinning and Weaving in Lake Orion, Michigan. And uh, we're here in the yarn store today to talk to you about weaving and fabric. Fabric that you're accustomed to seeing and probably perhaps making yourself is crocheting and knitting. And these techniques use a continuous thread. So you're working from a ball of yarn. In woven fabric, we work with pieces of thread. The warp is what is attached to the loom and they are individual pieces that go the whole length of one or more pieces. This particular piece is plain weave and it was woven on a rigid heddle. And the texture that you see is visual texture because it's a hand painted yarn. So plain weave, the very simplest of weaves. If you interlace your fingers, you have plain weave. One goes up, one goes down, one goes up, one goes down. That's a very simple plain weave. Here's another simple plain weave. And when, the, when it was warped, the loom was warped, and when the weaving was done, there were spaces left. So this is called denting, and we have a half an inch space between each one, and you can see that it, the, the warp threads and weft threads migrate to give us a little few threads in the window between the spaces. So that's plain weave, very simple to do. This is done with very fine thread. This is a napkin and you can see it's quite colorful and there's a lot of visual texture from color. There's so three solid colors, yellow and green and blue and each section of the warp, the warp is the long way where the hem is, each section is threaded in a different way. This has two uh, blue, two green, two blue, two green, and here we have one green, one yellow, one green, one yellow, and in the last um, place we have one yellow, one blue. And as I wove this off, I changed my weft. So I wove with more than one color at a time. So still plain weave, but quite simple to do. In fact, this could be done on a rigid heddle. Here's another version of plain weave. This is called rep weave, and it's done on a larger uh, a, a loom with more shafts so that you can get patterning in blocks. And this is a, a Scandinavian type weaving, but also plain weave. And the color happens because there are thick threads separated by thin threads. So a thick, a thin, a thick, a thin, and uh, changing in the, in the treadling, and that's what you're doing with your feet, um, creates this pattern. Turn back the tablecloth and you can see this um, weft faced fabric. Weft face means that you don't see the warp. The warp is only exposed at the ends. So you get an entirely different look, an entirely different patterning. Still plain weave. The other most common um, type of weaving, uh, member of the weaving family, is twills. And the characteristics of the twills are that you can see diagonals. So it, what happens is instead of I told you plain weave goes 
over one, under one. Twill might go over two, under two. And as it shifts from row to row, it staggers and creates an angle. So this is a sampler weavers call a gamp. It's been threaded in between each of the red lines. It's been threaded to create a particular pattern and then woven off to um, uh, create that pattern again. So our diagonals are what we threaded for and what we treadled for. And then we get these free patterns that happen because of the mechanics and the computer part of the loom. Uh, weaving is very uh, numbers based. You don't have to count very high, but you do have to do math. This is a very fine version of twill, and it's a broken twill. And because it's broken, you don't see the strong diagonal. And this is woven with very fine uh, cotton and silk. You can see how, how beautifully it drapes. Twill can also be found in this um, rug sample. And you should be able to see the diamonds in it. And it is a rag rug, and rag rugs need to be woven <coughs> on big heavy looms uh, so that you can beat them into place. Okay, I think it's time for us to go to the loom. Okay, you're on. weaving plain weave. Remember that's over one, under one. And this loom has treadles to it, which you can't see, but I will include a picture. Um, and as I press down different petals, you can look at the side here and you can see that different shafts are selected. These are called shafts. They're a frame that holds the, the heddles. And this particular type of heddle is called Texolve. It's a polyester material and it's very durable and quiet. So um, I can also, on this same loom, just by changing my petals, switch to weaving a twill. So I have shafts one and two down. Next will be two and three. Next will be three and four. And the final, it will be one and four. So we'll do that again. One and two, two and three, three and four one and four. And we're starting to get a diagonal. If The loom I'm weaving on is a Louette David, and uh, 
when you step on the treadles, the shafts go down. Uh, you gotta stop. Weaving on a multi-shaft loom can be a lifetime hobby. You will never be bored. Patterns change, colors change, textures change, what you're making changes. Think about all the fabric in your world and all the ways that you could make your hand-woven fabric surround you and help make your house a home.